Hey everybody, it's your old pal Robert from ThrillRight.com. How you doing? So, uh, today is Sunday. I think it's Easter Sunday, actually. And on Friday evening, this past Friday, I got the first of two Pfizer vaccine shots. Very excited to get that process going. Uh, yesterday, pretty mild symptoms, nothing too terrible, just kind of a little on the relaxed side, but uh, no aches, no fever, that was all good. And uh, so to kind of reward myself today, I thought I'd take a little trip to a place I've wanted to check out for quite some time. Also a place that sells donuts. So donuts seem to be the theme. When you get your vaccine, you get a donut. <laughs> but we're not going to Krispy Kreme, we're going someplace else. But very close by to that destination is uh, another unique location. So you can see behind me a big McDonald's sign. But these are not McDonald's restaurants. These are two McDonald's locations built specifically to be filming locations. Um, we're going to take a quick look around. You'll see uh, entrances that talk about cast and crew. Um, but it's a pretty cool little uh, little shooting location I was not aware of until very recently. So let's go take a look around. So here is one of the gates to the facility here, and you'll note it's called the McDonald's Production Center. Definitely has a movie studio gate kind of a look. And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I gotta say, I'm still feeling a little teeny bit out of it, but uh, not in a bad way. Just, again, very relaxed. <laughs> this is a pretty nicely landscaped area. So as I understand it, there are two kind of restaurants that are built here. One that has the look of a more kind of downtown city-based urban uh, retail location and another of more of a rural location. So again, obviously the exterior is shot elsewhere, but for interior scenes, uh, they can be all taken care of right down here. Not too far from where all the major studios are located. Yeah, so I'm not sure which one this particular one is. Maybe this is the uh, use of the urban interiors. And then we just keep walking down the street and we'll see the second one. Really is kind of funny. We're in a very quiet industrial area. Most of the other buildings around here are big uh, kind of warehouse type structures. Not a lot of foot traffic you'd get if this were <laughs> meant to be open to the public. <laughs> You know, with all these numbered gates, it really does have the uh, feel of a, a working uh, movie studio like Warner Brothers, Disney, Universal, all have those similar kind of numbered access gates. Yeah, and this is pretty well, uh, pretty well locked up. So they definitely keep this for professional use only. Yeah, now that I'm taking a closer look, this would be, I think, the uh, urban McDonald's seem to have a little more of that vibe going on yeah there you go and this uh, lot here would be where crew and talent park <laughs> not a sign you see in front of uh, too many other McDonald's yeah this was a fun little stop but uh, now on to the main event getting hungry all right this is what I'm really here to see. The fantastic donut hole. Probably one of the most famous donut locations in America. Look at this beauty. So apparently this was built in 1968 as the second of five donut hole locations. Uh, I guess this was a chain at one point, but this is the only one that still survives. And most people assume the reasoning for that is this was the only of the five donut holes that actually included these magnificent donuts as part of their design. Again, another classic example of programmatic architecture. The building looks like the things it sells. So you can see looking uh, down the barrel of the 
<laughs> of the establishment. There are kind of two buildings attached by this tunnel and uh, giant donuts frame the entrance and the exit. Yeah, that is a pretty distinctive looking building. And again, as much as I love Krispy Kreme donuts, I'd, uh, I'd mix it up a little bit and try something different and uh, see if the donuts here live up to the promise that this fantastic building makes. <laughs> Well, in the uh, somewhat limited research I've done into the matter, unfortunately, it seems as though the person who is responsible for coming up with this just brilliant design, uh, is the name of that person is lost to the ages. Really a shame, because whoever they are, they did something that endures and has endured for coming up on six decades. So well done, sir or madam, well done indeed. I haven't done it in quite a long time and I presume some of you all out there have done it, but uh, driving up the coast of California in the Redwood Forest, there are at least one or two, perhaps several redwood trees that are so massive, there are tunnels dug through the, the trunks that cars can pass through. And I've always been kind of just very pleasantly amused by that sort of thing, <laughs> including the amazing Green Forest Car Wash uh, episode from uh, several months back. But yeah, yeah, there's uh, that sense of going on a little bit of a ride <laughs> that always adds an extra thrill. And in terms of uh, a one-two punch, it's a pretty uh, killer location for fast food because right across the street from this excellent establishment is an In-N-Out. Oh, once again, I'm glad I don't live nearby. I'd probably uh, be 20 pounds heavier within, within the month. <laughs> well, with a little bit of sadness, I must report that unfortunately the donut hole is currently closed. Oh well, I thought it was open 24 seven, but they may still be shut down due to the uh, current conditions, but this is kind of cool. Take a little drive through this <laughs> unusual donut portal. Well, at least you can see inside the window there where all the prep takes place. And it looks like they sell coffee, soda. Yeah, it's not strictly donuts. They get some other things in here. Tiger claws or tiger tails, bear claws. Yeah. Huh. Well, just means I'll have to come back another time. Well, there you go. Sometimes things don't always go according to plan. Uh, it's too bad Donut Hole was closed, but still fun to check out. And uh, yeah, kind of a bit of a theme here <laughs> that's emerged <laughs> between the McDonald's shooting locations in this place. We're gonna look at places that are food related, but we're not actually gonna consume any food. <laughs> Although there is one more spot I passed on the way over here that caught my attention. We're gonna try that and maybe some food will be consumed at that location. So let's check that out. We have that big old freight train slowly moving away in the distance. But yeah, this is what caught my eye on the way over to the donut hole, Bob's Burgers. Now, I have to believe you're already a huge fan of that amazing Fox show. And if not, you should be. It's easily one of the best animated programs ever made, and I'd like to think in some alternate universe, this was the location that inspired the show that is currently running in some other reality. <laughs> but I just love this facade. Yeah, I can't quite tell what the main kind of cuisine is here. Obviously, burgers are an important part of it, but they sell tacos. And this big chicken out front would indicate that there might be some poultry. But since I was uh, denied the donut, I think we're gonna try this place out. Yeah, they got quite the selection here. Breakfast, Mexican food, dinner plates, fish sandwich. Oh yeah, I love this kind of place. I'm very hungry, so yeah, it's time to make this happen. All right, well I figured if I'm eating at Bob's Burgers, Gotta go with the burger, right? Mm. Mm. A 
that is really good. Mmm. Fresh tomato, some nice like secret sauce on there. Yeah. Nice work, Bob's. All right, I think that's gonna bring this one to a close. So yeah, a little bit uh, not quite what I had planned, but fun and entertaining, I hope. So thanks for coming along and uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one.